Hello, and welcome to the Bardari High School BC News School Report 2014. Today we'll be looking at our new uniform standards, what we have done for Toronto Leaf this year, and talking about the independence vote. We also will be looking at the missing Malaysian plane, along with reports on the weather and sports. Hello, my name is Caitlin, and today we're going to talk to you about Sport Relief. Sport Relief is a biannual event which celebrities do various events to raise money for certain charities to help poor countries. For Sport Relief, Boy Gowdy High School have been doing various events that have raised money to go to charity. Here's Andrew with more news. In school, we have held many events supporting the charity, including non-uniform day, lunchtime concert, and a Strictly Come Dancing competition. In this competition, the staff at Blairgarry High School competed in a dancing competition. The standard of dance was very high. The routines had been rehearsed for numbers of weeks beforehand. At the end of the evening, Mr. Dimmick and Mrs. Kennedy were awarded the trophy for best dance, but we thought every teacher did really well. Boygaudy High School has done their part for Sport Relief and we are looking forward to next year. This is the Sport Relief team for the BBC News School Report. Thank you and goodbye. The Malaysian airliner flight MH370 that went missing on the 8th of March has still not been recovered. 239 people were lost and families have been waiting to hear what has happened to their loved ones. Search and rescue planes have been searching and there are now 122 possible sightings of wreckage in the southern Indian Ocean. It is said to be that the search is the most difficult in invasion, in invasion history. This has not only been a shocking but tragic event for all of us. Is it a coincidence that two passengers had stolen passports and one person gave all his valuable belongings to his wife and two children? Hope has faded of finding the passengers alive and now focus is on find recovering the wreckage and the black box to get to the bottom of what actually happened to this flight. The black box only has till the 8th of April till it goes silent. The mystery continues. My name is Nicholas. And my name is Connor. Today we are reporting on the Scottish Independence Referendum from Blakeberry High School. The referendum will take place on the 18th of September 2014. The age restriction of voting has been reduced to the age of 16, so the government can hear what the teenagers have to say on the matter. Although one problem with this is that the people of that age might not fully understand the effects the referendum may have on the future generation. Many teens may have related Scottish independence to the story of Braveheart, where the hero was Scotland and England was thought of as the bad guy. And with this in mind, it may influence the vote. This could be a huge bonus for the Scottish Parliament. We feel this is taken in mind by Scottish Parliament as the reason for the voting age to be reduced. We looked into what effect Scottish independence may have in the future. One of the things that came up was that Scotland has debt with other countries. Our thought is that if we go independent, we, not be, we may not be able to pay this debt and go potentially go bankrupt with no one to help us. Whereas if we stay as the United Kingdom, we still have England, Ireland and Wales to help us. But if we do go independent, we still have the possibility of making more money and paying all of, all of our debt as we still have the oil industry to fa fall back on. Oh no, we're still undecided on the matter. Hello, I'm Zach reporting for the BBC School Report 2014 from Bird High School. We'll be reporting on our new uniform standards. The school had a vote on whether blazers were to be worn in the new term. We recently had an interview with the head teacher, Mrs. Leslie. Hello. Hello, this is Zach reporting for the BC School Report from Birdery High School. So, who are you? I'm Mrs. Leslie, I'm head teacher of Blairgowdy High School. Yeah, so, why are we actually getting the blazers? We're getting blazers as a result of pupil voice. Pupils asked for blazers. Um, certainly, we were the only secondary school in Perth and Kinross County without a blazer and pupils wanted to vote on whether we should have a blazer and overwhelmingly they voted yes. Now when is the official date for the blazers? We're hoping that people will return to school in August wearing their blazers but they may be available this side of summer from our suppliers and pupils are free to wear them whenever they have purchased them. Yeah. How do you think the pupils will react to getting the blazers? I think pupils will be very proud to be wearing their blazers and to be showing that we're part of the Blairgarry High School community. Yeah, finally, 
Uh, do you think it will be a good idea to get them? I think anything that promotes Blairgowrie High School in a positive light is very good for all of our young people here. And I certainly hope that employers, members of the public, and members of our school community will say, there goes a Blairgowrie High School pupil, don't they look very smart? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. The vote was counted and here is Lee with the results. The results of the official vote were as follows. The amount that said yes were 447 and no, people said no, were 310. The places were chosen are black with a blue trim, which I'm wearing just now. I'm Gordon and we also had another vote in the in school playground to see what people thought around their friends. We were surprised when we counted them to find that 57 of the 84 people said no to the Blazers, meaning that 27 said yes. Originally I thought the Blazers were a bad idea and we would look silly in them. They looked quite smart though. I thought the Blazers would be smart from the beginning and I thought it would be a great idea. I'm glad that we're getting them. I liked the, th well, I liked the thought of the Blazers and I always had. I'm looking forward to wearing the ones like Lee's wearing right now. The Blairgowrie High School was on the only school in Perth and King Ross without them. Overall, we think that the Blazers are a good idea and our school will look a lot smarter wearing them after the summer holidays. Hi, my name is Morgan. And I'm Andrew. In this part of the school news report, we will be talking about <coughs> the football scores from last night for Celtic <coughs> and Partick Thistles. Part of Thistle 1, Celtic 5. Glasgow Celtic clinched the title for the SBL last night against Partick Thistle. What remains of Celtic's season will in part be an exercise in rest and recreation for those players who will be involved in the World Cup Finals. And that is the sport from Andrew and Morgan. Thank you for listening. Glasgow is going to end up underwater. Newcastle is going to be blown away. And Cardiff and Bristol are going to be dried by a tidal wave. This is Kira with the weather. And finally, a brand new cupcake ATM vending machine has opened in New York. It can hold up to 800 cupcakes. It is open 24 hours a day. So even if the bakery is closed, you can still get your hands on a cake. And that's all.